Brian Wagner, senior editor at Dragziner at PRA with Luis de Leon. Luis, we did the article on the FT700. We had the giant unveiling. What have people been saying about this, man? That now that they get to see it, you know, it's not just a picture. What's been the reaction, man? It was really cool, right? Like uh, everyone saw, we, tr we tried to do like a nice reveal, you know, because it is a product that took over three years to be developed. So the product de uh, uh, deserve that, you know, all the customers deserve that. And now they can see and they can touch, you know, they can see because like we have that approach where the dashboard and the ECU are one unit. We try to, s to have everything that the customer wants to see interact tune, you know, retrieve logs close to them. That's why we have the ECU and the dashboard together. And now this unit has way more stuff building on the same housing, plus a better interface. They now can also do wireless to your phone, to your tablet, to your computer. It can be a PC base or Mac base, right? So people are coming here like, what? You can do like Mac now? Yeah, we do. So you can have on your iPhone and next to the core on the starting line, about to go and oh, track's too good. Let's go up 200 on the two step and your crew chief, your tuner can do that remotely, you know? So uh, the unit can add video and then people are like, what, you can do video? You can do like a backup camera. You know, you can do an onboard camera. You can record the audio uh, happening on, uh, on your radio, right? So did we explain right for the driver what the driver meant when he said, so, when we explain all the features and people are here understanding like they've blown away how much it already have right now and as we said this ain't no different from other previous fuel tech products it's not going to stop here right so this is the base from here we're just going to improve this line and all the other products that will come along with the uh, vision ft i need to back things up a second because you said something i didn't realize so let's say i just did my burnout you know Josh Ledford's tuning me. I'm yeah. getting ready to my radio versus the world car. Sasquatch sees something on the track. He goes, oh, we got a little bit, like, we could do a little bit more. So he could be outside on the car, and he's like, let's give it two more pounds of boost at the hit. He could do that? He can do that. And on a safe way. So, like, people are already thinking, like, oh, it's it's uh, wireless, so people can try to hack my mm -mm -mm -mm. This is something that we invest a lot of time and technology to be safe. Once you have a safe connection between your phone or something to the module, it's yours. Nobody's going to be taking over. So it essentially, it it binds the unit to whatever, like for Back lack of better down. terms, an IP address. So it's only going to talk to yeah. what you allow it to talk to. Sort of like your remote tuning kind of setup, right? Yeah, pretty much. But instead of going remote through internet, whatever, it's going remote either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Man, you, right, that right there, like, there is so many people, like, there's tuners right now that are just drooling. And again, the cool thing is, is the way that you guys have this product set up and designed is it can control so many different products or so many different setups in so many different ways, right? Yes, sir. So we, we keep that universal way to do it. So the unit's still able to do one cylinder all the way up to 12 or maybe more. Maybe you have a radio motor on an old you know, prototype airplane that you have, but you want to run it, you know, it, it can do a lot of stuff that's different. You can do nitrous, you can do turbo, you can do centrifugal chargers, you know, different kinds of race fuels, you name it. Ev everything is there and the unit can interact with you to provide the best. Now, is this something that you guys have, like, do you keep a notebook at Fuel Tech of suggestions from customers and, like, you're just tucking them away and when the FT700 is developed, did you go, now is our opportunity to just go to our engineers and be like, here, check this out. Is, is that what you guys approach with this? Yes, yes, yes. So, like, we blast to have, like, really good dealers, really good customers, and we want to listen to them and improve the product. So, this product didn't came up like, oh, I had this great idea. No, this idea came from this customer that came to us like, hey man, if I could do this, I think the car would be quicker. Like, hmm, let me check out of my engineering department. Then we go back to engineering, we make a design, we talk to them like, it's feasible, okay, let's do it. And then we put out there free updates for everyone, you know, with a new feature that help a lot of people. 
mean, you guys got the practice tree game for this. Are you? Got, you we need a drag racing game on this. I mean, can, can I can I tag my Nintendo Switch in this and, and play Need for Speed? I mean, think about that for a second. You, okay, let me let me think about it. Let me think about it. You're killing time in the lanes. There's an oil down. You're like, well, let's just play some video games. I mean, that's how nice these screens are. I'm like, I, I can I can play my games on here, man. Well. I cannot promise you, but we're going to look into it. I'm, I'm just, I'm adding your notebook. Well, Luis, thank you so much for your time. It's a great product, and we look forward to seeing more at the track soon. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.